Lucy Gubecker in the top 16. That was the girls. This is the guys. Another huge field. I'm sure they would have watched on there. Let's run through a few of the names and a few guys we haven't seen so far. James Curl from the Manly Club there. Jake Rees, we haven't seen him so far today. He is a great swimmer from Newport. Ollie Signorini, Mitch Simmons, Adam Simpson from Surfers Paradise. Ethan Whiteman, his first venture in the summer of surf. And watch out for Bailey Williams from Noosa. Well, Bailey Williams has been swimming very, very well, Josh. He's been very consistent and right up where they're there with the likes of Kendrick Louie, who have led a lot of our surf races so far this summer. Well, what about the young gun on the start line there? He was four foot one, if he was an inch at all, from Cooks Hill just down the road. And there he is there chasing hard. So we let the young guns have a crack in the surf race. And he's put his foot on the line. And he's as good a shot as anyone, Jack. Well, you'd be forgiven for thinking this was Sunday nippers, but it's not. This is open <laughs> men's surf racing. And that little whippersnapper is mixing it with the big boys. Oh, he's got plenty of work to do, that's for sure. Let's go back to the front. And Matt Poole on the hammer. So from probably the shortest bloke in the field to one of the tallest, he looks like an avatar standing next to him. But have a look at that big, long stroke there. Matty Poole gets going. He'll be filthy after that Ironman performance. He was in it up to his eyeballs as Corey Taylor jumps straight on the feet and says, thank you very much, I'll drag you around. Jackson Maynard, who can put together one swim with the best of them, that's for sure. He's underrated as a surf swimmer. And have a look at the field there. Arms, legs, kicking, pushing and shoving. You don't want to be a nipper caught up in this. Well, Poole set the race up very, very well from the start. Use those long legs through the gutter and across the bank to give himself every opportunity at the first run at this Cairns. And he's done exactly that to get himself around. Little bit of trouble, got caught up on it there. Took him a long time to get around, but didn't seem to hold him up too much. And he's starting to extend the gap on the other boys. Like many things, he tries to push it around out of the way instead of going around it there. Matt Poole, he is pushing away from the rest of the field here. Maybe Collins from Redhead trying to hold on, trying to stick with him and have a look at the waves. If he can turn and really get a wriggle on here. Oh, he got a huge push out of that one. And the gap's opened up. So the racing's become very, very short as the tides start to change here. And Matt Poole could be on this one. He starts to stand up. He swims across. He pushes hard. And he'll pick this one up. Oh, he'll try and go down. And no, just falls off the back. Heartbreak for Poole. He did all the hard work of the swim so far. Now he's forced to hang around and wait for a wave. A little, maybe a dummy spit there from Matty Poole. But he's got his own wave out in front. And it looks like he's most of the way to a victory at this point as the rest of the field are just praying they can find something. Well, talking of praying, it looked as though Matty Poole was talking to the surf gods. Where is my wave? Mate, you did not you didn't not get a wave in the Ironman. You missed it. You should have been on that wave and you didn't get down it. And now you've come off the back of the lead wave in the surf race and making yourself work all the way back to the beach. Well, tell us how you really feel, Jack Hanson. And Matt Poole's done the job. you got to give credit where it's due. He's led from start to finish and he will pick up his second win of the summer of surf in individual events. The surf race, Corey Taylor, he will get up the beach for second. Dan Collins just didn't do enough to get on the podium there in a hard-fought surf race. But Matty Poole led from start to finish, and he gets the job done. A little bit of redemption for that Ironman. Corey Taylor and Adam Simpson, a great job from Surface Paradise to round out the podium. Simmons, Curl, Williams and Gray, they're your top 12. Brown from Karumba just snuck inside the top 15. Had a bit of a shocker, right? in the final closing stages of the Ironman, but um, it was a really short, tough race, and everyone was super bunched up and close again, but stoked to come away with a win in the swim. It was pretty much my ideal conditions. Long running sandbank and very short swimming, so yeah, happy to get the win. It's crazy, it's just turned on its head completely. This morning was really clean and glassy, and now we've got this crazy onshore wind, and, but it's, it's perfect for the surf, you know, it really mixes it up, and, and I love that sort of racing where you've got a, a lot more skill-based yeah, I hope so. There's a lot more work to be done yet. Um, got to get through Chrissy and New Year's first. Hopefully I don't put on too much more weight. The boards and skis are going to get bigger. But um, no, it's good. I'm, I'm looking forward to the rest of the summer. It's been really fun so far. An interesting goal for Matt Poole. Avoid becoming the chunky bunny. Let's see how he goes with that one. Hamish Chapman on top. Only two points ahead of Jake Reese. And Adam Simpson's result gets him into third with 100 points. Plenty of the boys still trying to qualify for an end of season final at Surface Paradise there, pool with 40.